Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another FCPX Tips and Tricks episode. I have got a lot of requests and questions upon the first episode of FCPX Tips and Tricks. So this video is all about that. So we're going to look into the questions which has been asked and what are the requests which has been made. So let's get started after this intro. <laughs> Let's jump into the first one about the hardware requirements to use this particular Final Cut Pro software. Well, it's Apple made product and because of which it's only available on Mac systems. So in order to use it on Windows, you have to use some alternative uh, softwares. Yeah, I'm going to cover that as well at the end of this video. So stay tuned for it. Well, you got to have a Mac operating system. First of all, that's that's the priority because it's an Apple made product and because of which it's only available on Mac OS. So you can use anything, uh, you know, from uh, MacBook Pro 2013 model, uh, which at least starts from i5, i3 model. It would be useful, but of course you have to make use of some SSDs so that you'll be able to go and edit it faster because, um, you know, before you used to have an SSD, and if you are editing on uh, SSD, then it would be very fast because the rendering would uh, be way faster and uh, you'll be able to reduce the time. So time is money all here, so you got to make use of it. So before that, let's also quickly check what is the cost of this particular software. So it almost costs you $26,900 uh, in App Store. So likewise, in Android, you have Play Store where you download the apps and use it. And it's same in Mac OS as well. So you have an App Store where you can go ahead and download this particular software and start using it. So you got to pay for it and it's a paid software. It's it's quite quite costly it's 26 900 bucks so pretty sure you know it's not for everybody it's for professional editors so if you are a youtuber if you are a professional videographer or if you are into this particular videography and uh, you know making movies and short movies then yeah this particular uh, software is very useful so that you can make use of this particular software and make an ultimate professional editing so let's see who should buy this so in order to buy this you got to be an editing professional so when i say editing professional you got to be in the videography you got to be in the youtubing world or you got to be uh, someone who does movies or short movies yeah they can definitely make use of this and uh, professionally you can go and edit it and this particular uh, software is just amazing it's pretty fast it's hey who is this man I'm just a fun video maker and you have been talking about the costliest hold editing on, software. Hold on, buddy. Why don't you give that me an alternative be... software for it? Hold on, just man. A normal editing Hold on to your nose, buddy. Come that was my reality. next topic. I'm going to cover that up. Something. Don't worry. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, let's look into the alternatives. So, if you are the Windows user, then uh, yeah, you have Adobe Premiere Rush. Uh, which is for beginners and uh, also you can use Filmora. Filmora is also a great editing software just like Final Cut Pro and it is made for Windows and if you are a Mac user and still want to uh, make use of some sort of an editing uh, softwares yeah Apple has given you a free software called iMovie so iMovie was the one editing software which I started making use of so my first video was edited on iMovie itself and I may give the link of my first video somewhere here and you can check out in the description as well. So there are a lot of possibilities wherein you can start learning your editing skills with some free softwares, with some cost effective softwares when you don't have to pay a huge amount of 26900 though. But if you are a professional, if you are a professional who does movies, who does short movies and you want to edit for it and uh, if you are uh, a YouTuber then it's pretty good to have one so yeah that's for it i may give some more uh, softwares down in the description because i don't want to list out there are a lot of softwares available but these are the main major softwares which i have come across and which would be helpful for you guys and now when we know about the cost of fcpx the hardware requirement for it who can make use of this let's also know if this fcpx worth buying 
Well, it's been almost one and a half year to two years now I have uh, bought this Final Cut Pro, started editing on it, started learning a lot on uh, editing and uh, boy oh boy this has given me um, the thrilling experience you know. To edit on the Final Cut Pro of course initially you gotta fiddle around a lot. There are tons of tutorials available in the YouTube uh, on Final Cut Pro and also on uh, the alternative softwares which I just uh, throwed up on the screen. So yeah, um, that's it about it. So the questions asked was answered today and uh, there was also a request wherein uh, people have been asking me to start off with the basic and also been asking me to go slow. So I'll try my level best to go slow uh, since I don't want to make the viewers bored um, by making it a very slow uh, paced video. So I would recommend you guys to go ahead and pause it and uh, see where exactly I'm clicking on it. Of course, I'm going to uh, fine tune some of my screen recording uh, capabilities because this is the first time I started making a screen recording plus editing on the screen recording stuff. So I'll be fine tuning on that. Having said that, if you like this particular video for whatsoever reason, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hey, support, support and share this particular video because without you guys, you know, I guess this particular YouTube community would never exist. And thank you very much for crossing 1300 mark and the way to come. And of course, I'll try to be more consistent from now on because I know I've been not consistent enough. But yeah, that's what my plan is. Thank you very much for watching and talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.